Hey everybody, I uh, hope you are having a fantastic day so far today. We are in the latter parts of Sunday, at least where I live right now. A lot of you are probably already into Monday because of time zones, things like that. Uh, but yeah, we are wrapping up the weekend right now. Weekend coming to a close. Pretty good, pretty productive uh, weekend so far, getting in preparation for things um, on my side right now. Uh, some exciting stuff, but I swear there's some purpose behind why I'm spinning around in circles and stuff in my room like a weirdo. Um, I'm tired, but we're going to go ahead and do this anyways because I've been wanting to do it for a while and I decided, hey, why not do it right now? So you guys probably are seeing uh, just little sneak peeks around my room um, and you guys probably have not seen it in its entirety in this office space that I do have right here. Maybe just a little bit because of, you know, me doing videos and seeing some of the stuff behind me and everything like that. Maybe some people have seen uh, some sneak peeks into it on Instagram when I posted some pictures or something like that too, but um, not everybody has seen it in its entirety and stuff right, uh, like that. And that is the purpose of this video. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys pretty much my whole office space room right here. I might not show certain things because of, you know, privacy purposes or uh, maybe certain things that I don't want spoiled because I have things planned for the future uh, for the channel and stuff too. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show, you know, the little room tour kind of finally. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Around here and start from the beginning. So this is my door <laughs> entering the room. Um, and yeah, let's kind of walk into it here. So let's, this is what you see when you walk into the room, just um, cables on the floor and stuff like that. Sorry if my cable management is not the best. Here is my desk of where I usually do certain things, but um, I'll go back there and just a second so this is another door this is just a closet to the office room that i have here uh here's a little thing that i want to show so it's a trash taste podcast little tote bag that i have here so if you guys don't know what the trash taste podcast is it is a podcast that consists of three guys you know uh giguk a uh, really big anime YouTuber, Joey the Anime Man, uh, who was a big anime YouTuber, known as an anime YouTuber, but doesn't really make a whole lot of anime content now. Um, and then Sea Dog VA, who is a uh, big anime YouTuber or IRL streamer and IRL video maker, <laughs> content creator now. Um, and yeah, so I got that tote when I went to their live tour, and I got a few other things that I'll show here in just a sec. Um, and you guys probably already saw some of this stuff as I panned over here prematurely. Uh, but yeah, I got a bunch of different anime stuff, a bunch of stuff that I'm a big fan of here. Uh, I'm a huge fan of One Piece, if you guys didn't know. If you guys didn't know too, uh, One Piece is my favorite anime, which might catch some people by surprise because I do talk about Bunny Girl Senpai a ton um, and just different rom-com anime a ton as well. Uh, Bunny Girl Senpai is way up there for me, but it is not my favorite favorite. You know, it's not my first number one. It is probably like in my top five, top three, something like that. Uh, but yeah, I love One Piece. I got a bunch of One Piece stuff here. You know, as you can see, the little wall scroll. Uh, I got another nice picture up there. Um, I love Jujutsu Kaisen as well. So uh, there is, you know, the little Gojo plush there. Uh, that sick uh, wall art there of Yuji and Sukuna. I got that cute little plushie there too of Tokoyami from uh, My Hero Academia. The slime there from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. And then I got some more stuff over here. So here is a Trafalgar Deep Water Law. Um, little acrylic stand there, uh, Vinland Saga, Thorfinn uh, acrylic stand there too, and then a Fire Force little uh, helmet there that I had for a cosplay that I did back in the day uh, too, which is really freaking cool. It's actually got some weight to it here. Um, I did have a one piece straw hat that was here as well, but it's kind of over in a different room right now. Uh, maybe I'll show that a little later, but yeah, here's some other cool stuff that I will grab from behind it. Uh, so this is a uh, picture that I got too from the Trash Taste Live Tour. Uh, it's a little bit dirty right now. I'll try to rub it off just a sec just so it's a little bit more clean. I don't know if that did anything, but yeah, here is a sick little picture. It's very, very dark, so you can't see a ton of it. Um, but yeah, that's Joey the Anime Man on the right and then Giguk. Um, on the left, love this picture. Really cool, nice piece of memorabilia from uh, being able to go to that um, live tour that they did, which is freaking, it was such a sick experience and being able to see them, they were hilarious. Uh, and just some of the people that uh, inspire me to do a bunch of great things and just do um, some of the stuff that I'm doing now, you know. 
Uh, but yeah, here's another little thing that I got there. I got the VIP pass when I did go over there with one of my friends. Um, and so they gave us a little VIP pin. So it's a little gold limited edition uh, trash taste pin, which is really freaking cool uh, that I got from there as well. Um, and yeah, there's some other stuff here too. Got some little pictures here that I'm a big fan of from different series. Uh, a Berserk picture, Parasite the Maxim, uh, Chainsaw Man, Jujutsu Kaisen, love Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, some more stuff there. A Fire Force one down here as well. And then I got some figures here. So I kind of like tiered them off in their own little sections, kind of. Some of the, there are some uh, anomalies in the midst of some of them. Uh, but yeah, so like this first tier here is mostly the One Piece tier. Uh, so I have, you know, uh, Ace in his like Wano Kuni kind of outfit or whatever, um, like Japanese style outfit. Uh, Sabo as well in that kind of same style there too. I thought they were freaking sick. So I was like, hey, let me go ahead and get these. I got a Zoro all the way in the back here in his Wano style, out, not Wano style outfit, but it's uh, one of the outfits that he wears during the Wano arc. Um, and then I have a Trafalgar D. Water Law back there as well in his one of his outfits that he wears during uh, that arc as well. Then I got a sick freaking Kaido figure a while back. This thing is awesome. Uh, pretty damn big. It's pretty nice. I love the detail on it. Love the little flame cloud rings, the clouds that are under him, uh, just the, the scar and everything that he has on him too. It's freaking dope. It's awesome. Love it. Um, I want to get one of him in his like actual like like big form and stuff of him and himself like his oni form and then i wanted to show too an amber from genshin impact this was such a freaking cute figure such an awesome one that i found i can't even remember where i found it i think it was at some random toy store in a mall or something like that but it was such a freaking nice find and i picked it up of course i had to um, but yeah, it's such a nice figure, one of the nice little gems that I found um, at some point in random. And then I have uh, some more stuff here. So this is the Jujutsu Kaisen tier. So I have uh, Yuji here in Nobara when they did their like tandem black flash towards the end of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1. I have a Megumi there, I have a Nanami, and then of course a Gojo here as well. I can't wait for freaking Season 2. Season 2 is coming out in the summer, let's fucking go. Uh, but yeah, let's go down to the next tier down here. So this is the Demon Slayer tier. So there is uh, Tanjiro here with a little um, crate that he has on the back that he likes to keep Nezuko in. Uh, Rengoku, Tomioka here, uh, uh, Nezuko, a, uh, what's his freaking name? I can't remember the last two names. <laughs> the last two names, Zenitsu and fuck, what's his name? The poor guy's name. Uh, I'm a fake fan, sorry guys. <laughs> But uh, uh, Inosuke, that's what it is. Damn it, I swear, I knew that. That's my Demon Slayer tier of figures that I have here. And then let's go down to the bottom one, which has some anomalies amongst it. So it's not completely like a set, you know, kind of thing uh, or theme of a certain series. So there's some My Hero Academia stuff here for the majority of it. An All Might Hawks figure, which is cool too. And then a uh, Lemillion. Uh, as well, which is freaking dope. And then we have a assassination classroom, Koro Sensei, and then a, it's not Norman, yeah, it's, I think it's Ray from The Promised Neverland as well, which is a cool one because it, it's like, it came with a little couch and he's sitting down. You don't see many figures with them just sitting down and just chilling like that, which I thought was cool. So it was one of the ones that I decided to pick up. And Koro Sensei, of course, here, Assassination Classroom, one of my favorite anime. It's freaking amazing. Let's jump ahead to my bookshelves that I have, my manga, things like that that I have on this side over here. So yeah, there's a bunch of different manga that I have here. Uh, so I have like a full, one full bookshelf of stuff, and then I have, you know, part of a bookshelf of stuff here. Um, not completely filled up with everything on that side there, but like, let's go ahead and show some of these. So I have a good chunk of Attack on Titan volumes here. I have some Assassination Classroom. Uh, now that I hear that they're trying to like ban it, maybe in the country or something like that, possibly. I might just end up buying like the entire collection before they end up deciding to do that. Um, but yeah, I got some 86 volumes there. Not sure if you guys have seen 86, but it's a fucking dope anime. Um, and I got some of the volumes from the source material there. Uh, I got a Banana Fish volume, uh, B Stars, Chainsaw Man, Demon Slayer stuff too. Not all of them right now, but I do have a good chunk of them. Uh, some Nagatoro ones. I got a, some Dr. Stone, some more Dr. Stone, some Fire Force, uh, some Tony Kaku Kawaii, Fly Me to the Moon. Uh, I got some Gleipnir ones. I thought Gleipnir was a pretty cool show when it was airing. Uh, I'm not sure if they'd ever make a season two of that. That's kind of up in the air there, but um, it was a pretty cool show. So I decided to get some of the source material there. 
I enjoyed it, and it got some Haikyuu stuff, got some Higihiro, um, some Horamiya, Jujutsu Kaisen, stuff like that, which is really cool. Which one is this one now that I'm looking at it? Oh, okay, okay. I think it's, uh, it was a random manga that I got from a series that did come out and had an anime not that long ago. Maybe it was like a year or so ago, but I remember I bought the volume of it before the anime came out, and I never read it, <laughs> but uh, maybe I'll read it at some point. But yeah, some more Jujutsu Kaisen down here, some Kaguya-sama, Love is War big fan of the series some Komi can't communicate huge fan of that series too uh, some Ushoku Tensei I got a Masho volume as well that's actually uh, just premiered not that long ago too for its anime which is freaking exciting uh, to see Mushoku Tensei season 2 is going to be coming out I think this year actually um, and then we got some My Dress Up Darling let's fucking go so we got some of that we got some My Hero Academia My Love Story uh, My Senpai is Annoying Origairu we got some Nar a little bit of Naruto at least one volume of Naruto uh, some One Piece I got my Oshinoko volume right here too and then another volume of I think like the latest volume of uh, My Dress Up Darling right there um, I got some more One Piece down here. Got a little bit of One Punch Man. I got the One Piece um, Ace Light novels right here. Some volumes of Parasite the Maxim, Overlord, just one volume of that. Some Rent a Girlfriend, um, some ReZero Spy Family. I got uh, one of the uh, solo leveling manga volumes there too. Uh, Snow White with the red hair. It's a nice little romance that uh, that I enjoyed back in the day. Might pick up some more volumes of that. Oh, I got some Sword Art Online. Don't berate me with bad comments there. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy it to a certain extent. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but still entertaining to some extent. Um, and then I got some more stuff down here on the bottom. So I got that time I got reincarnated as a slime. I got a uh, what is that one? The detective is already dead. The ancient, uh, ancient mage, uh, mages bride, which is going on right now for its season two. Some of the promised Neverland, the quintessential quintuplets, all fourteen volumes. Uh, got some of the Rising of the Shield Hero, um, a little bit of Vinland Saga, Seven Deadly Sins, um, Oh Yeah, and Toilet Bound Hanako Kun. I thought that was a pretty cool show when it came out. And this is, you know, for the most part in alphabetical order that I have it set up in right now. And I have some up here too, but this is kind of like random, you know, just kind of jumbled about just some of the ones that I've gotten more recently, I think. So, yeah, so, or at least this kind of chunk of it is. This is like a lot of the stuff that I got recent. So, I got a uh, recent volume of Komi Can't Communicate. I got the second volume of Spy Family. Got some um, Orugairu manga volumes there. Some Dandadan. If you guys haven't read this, this is a really freaking cool series. Uh, some more volumes of Kage Sama Love is War, volume 101 of One Piece. I got another volume of Yamata Kun and the Seven Witches, which is one of my favorite rom coms. One of the first ones that I've ever read or ended up watching in general. Uh, some Vinland Saga, some more Vinland Saga volumes, a My Dress Up Darling, uh, Darling volume, some more Tonikaku Kawaii, some Wandering Witch. Uh, the Journey of Elena, which is really cool. It's a really cool freaking series. I want to talk about that one, but maybe at some point in the future, if you guys haven't seen it yet, it's a really, really cool show. Um, we got some Watakoi there, some of, some more of Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches, Your Lion April, uh, and then here are some like kind of extra ones that I have. There's a Zom 100 right here that I have that is not an extra, but these ones that I have right here, these ones are all like duplicates that I have that I ended up buying out of like not knowing that I had those volumes. So like I bought this one, this Fire Force one without knowing that I already had it. This one, I did, I, I knew I had it, I just got a second one for some reason. Gleipnir one, I think I bought, you know, I think it was just a duplicate and I didn't realize I had it. Same thing with that Dr. Stone one too. Uh, but yeah, I got some of that stuff. And then here is just a bunch of my Bunny Girl Senpai things. So my My Sakurajima little night lamp here. Uh, we've got my Bunny Girl Senpai shoes that I've shown before. Uh, this nice little foam board uh, picture of my Sakurajima looks amazing. And then we got some more of my different merch pieces here for the sh uh, for the series. We got the parts one and two of the Ryo Futaba story for the manga um, in Japanese format. And then we got volume one of the English version of the Bunny Girl Senpai manga. And then the English version volume two of it as well. Got some little My Sakurajima uh, items as well right here. And then we got the Rascal Does Not Dream of a Bunny Girl Senpai uh, Blu-ray set right here. And then the actual Rascal Does Not Dream of a Dreaming Girl Blu-ray set as well. And then we got all of our volumes here. So here is volumes one through 
10 of the Bunny Girl Senpai series, the light novel in English form. Eight is missing here because I was rereading it not that long ago, so it's not here right now. Um, and then we have all of the volumes, so one through 13 of uh, the Bunny Girl Senpai light novel in Japanese format. So that's really cool that I got that there. Um, so that is a bunch of stuff that I have here. Here's a nice little cool one piece lamp. Let me see if I can turn this on. Uh, where the heck is the little button? Let me see if I can turn off my light and, and show that just a little bit better. There we go. That's sick. That, wait, let me see if I can get a little better peek at that. There we go. That looks a little bit better. So that's really cool. I like, I, I haven't used it a ton, but it, it's really nice that I have it. Um, but yeah, that's a really cool little lamp that I got there. Here are some more little, those foam board pictures that I have. So here's the Haikyuu one. I have a Don Machi one here as well. Um, I have a, what is this one? Oh, it's a Tokyo Revengers. I have a Luffy one bounty poster. And then I have a Marion Kitagawa from My Dress Up Darling. And I got some, just some video games that I have set aside over here on this side of the house. I don't know why I kept these over here, but I decided to uh, push these over here. And then some of my different little DVDs or like Blu-rays that I have. So got Spider-Man, the Miles Morales version, uh, got Godfall, Demon Soul, I think this is the, oh yeah, this is the quintessential quintuplets uh, PS5 game or PS4 game that I have, uh, that is the Japanese version that came out, I can't remember when, uh, but I ended up picking that up, um, I got the Sword Art Online, Hollow Realization game, uh, my romantic comedy Snafu, uh, DVD here, I think this is the second part of it, it's not the third part, but the, the second season. Uh, oh yeah, this show is really cool, I really enjoyed this show when it came out, it's a recovery of an MMO junkie, it's really cute, it's a nice little otaku kind of show if you guys haven't seen it. Um, then I got this uh, Machia movie, which is a really good movie if you haven't seen it. Uh, I got Your Name, which is, of course, I know very well known. A lot of people love it, and I love it too. Then I have A Silent Voice, which is fucking amazing. I love that movie. Uh, I put A Silent Voice, um, at least for me, I put it above Your Name, above Weathering uh, With You. And speaking of Weathering With You, I have it right there next to it. Um, and then I have a couple of DVDs for Ed, Ed, Nettie, because I fucking love that show. It's one of my favorite shows when I was younger, and one of my favorite shows now. I still can rewatch it, and it's still freaking hilarious. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorites there. Going down here, so I have my uh, One Piece Color Walk Compendium. It's like, it's the New World to Wano. It's a, a really nice, like, big, like, colored book. It has some amazing visuals in it from the One Piece story. It's awesome. Um, and yeah, I, I want to show it in a better way, but I won't show it in all of its entirety right now. Um, but yeah, it's a really freaking beautiful book that it has there. Uh, I have a Kaguya Shinomiya figure right here that I ended up getting not that long ago. I wanted to show at some point. Uh, but yeah, there it is. And then I have some other pictures that I have right here too. I have a Draken. I have a NBA cards that are kind of framed and stuff, which is really freaking cool. Uh, some of Steve Nash. I don't know if you guys know, but he's a really amazing player. Uh, my favorite player of all time. And then some other players from the Phoenix Suns. And then one of Nikola Jokic, one of my favorite current players right now too in the NBA. And then I have a really cool shield here from Rising of the Shield Hero. It can actually glow like how the actual Shield Heroes does, which is really freaking cool. Let me see if I can get it to, there it goes. Yeah, here it goes. It's really fucking dope. I love it. It's cool, especially if you see it in the, in the dark. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights for that one right now. But we're gonna go ahead and show some of this stuff. So a lot of my Bunny Girl Senpai things that I've shown in the past. So my My Sakurajima pillow, one of the plushies that I have for My Sakurajima, um, a nice little wall scroll that I have up there of her as well. Uh, this amazing wall art that I have here too. I love that piece. Got it a while back and it's one of my favorites I've ever bought before. Uh, this Ryo Futaba and then on the other side is my Sakurajima um, pillow. And then I got my Phoenix Suns foam finger because I live in Arizona and uh, I'm a big Phoenix Suns fan and I love it. Uh, here is right here is a Christmas um, little sign here. Never took it down. I don't know why. Um, and then like a Christmas little ornament kind of thing for uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins. I'm a big fan of hockey and that team. Uh, nice little Gojo just chilling here. And then I got this Trash Taste um, VIP access uh, lanyard that I got with the little pass that's here as well, which is really freaking cool. I loved it when I went to the Trash Taste live tour. So that's where I ended up getting that. 
And then I have all my Bunny Girl Senpai figures that I have here. So uh, these four, the Christmas version, the winter one, the summer one, and then the school version of my Sakurajima. Then I have some of the other ones. So just two of the Bunny Girl versions and then the party dress one. And then down here are the quintessential quintuplets. So I have them kind of broken down into tiers as well. So my Sakurajima, some more my Sakurajima, and then some quintessential quintuplets. So all of the girls in their kind of like pajama outfits. Uh, versions of the figures that they have there and then the bride uh, like board picture that I have back there too from the movie and then just uh, some random uh, waifu characters here so uh, Yukino Yukinoshita, Asuna, I got Amelia from ReZero, another Yukino cat girl version, an Utaha from Saikano. I almost forgot to show these last two phone board pictures that I do have so this is the super super cute My Sakurajima one, Bunny Girl Senpai, uh, one of the main visuals that you would usually see for the series and then right below that is a Spy X Family one or Spy Family one which is super cute too, love the show, love both of these series uh, and I wanted to make sure that I did show both of these here. Going on to the next part over here so this is some really fucking dope stuff that I got that I'm really excited to show. Uh, one of them being uh, the Strokes little vinyl for one of their albums that they have here. I'm not sure if anybody listens to the Strokes, indie rock, alternative rock, one of my favorite genres that are out there, and the Strokes is my favorite band. Uh, so this is a really cool thing that I have here. want to get a record player at some point in the future um, so I can be able to play this. Either that or I'm just going to like frame it or something like that. Um, and yeah, that's a really cool thing that I have there. I'm going to go ahead and move this off to the side so I can show some of this other stuff, which is some hype things that I did end up getting too. So uh, if anybody has caught some of my streams or knows me personally or something like that, uh, they know that I have been huge into Blue Lock lately. It's something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Such a freaking cool show. I've been trying to get some people to get into it and everything. And it is, it is so hype. I know some folks that uh, in particular that do watch it and uh, man, it's so fun talking about it. It's so freaking cool. Um, but yeah, it is really cool. I got some figures from it. I got a uh, Isagi Yoichi figure here and I got a Nagi Seishiro. I got a Bachira Megaru as well. And then I got some of the volumes of the manga here too, which look fucking amazing, man. They're, the art on some of these volumes is freaking dope, especially the Nagi one here. He looks so menacing, but like it, it's so cool. I love the color, the shading, just the darkness of it. It looks so freaking cool. So we got volume one over here with Isagi on it, volume 2 with Bachira on it, volume 3 with uh, Chigiri, volume 4 with um, with Kunigami, and then we got volume 5 here with Nagi. Uh, Nagi is my favorite character. Um, so yeah, just some really freaking cool stuff that I have here. And then I got a little cute Pochita too, which is really freaking amazing. I love it too. It has like a little handle, so you can just carry it around like it's like a little bag or I don't know, whatever. But it, it's so freaking cute and I love it. I got it at the mall one day and it's uh, it's amazing. Um, and yeah, and I have this mini fridge here that I don't really use. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm using it as just like a stand or something like that right now, which is uh, not its intended purpose, but hey, it's working for right now. And here are some of my things that I use to record videos. So uh, that is my camera and my little tripod that I use to record some videos and the mic that the road mic that's on top of it too. The camera that I'm using, um, I believe it's a Canon T7i. It's a pretty old camera, or at least I got it a really long time ago. So it sounds like it seems to me like a very old camera. I got it like, I don't even know, maybe like five, six years ago or something like that. It's been a good while since I've gotten it. So yeah, it's a pretty older camera. I might try to get a new one at some point in the future. Um, and then, yeah, I got this ring light here that helps me, of course, just get light into the room and everything, like provide some decent lighting to be able to record some videos and stuff. Uh, got my uh, little gaming chair here as well. A uh, nice little Super Bowl Gatorade towel that I had that I got not that long ago too, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, just backing up just a tiny to show just a little bit more of my desk area. So uh, lots of wires, not very pretty, not the prettiest thing in the world, but uh, still um, gets the job done and I, uh, I enjoy this space a lot. So I got my two monitors here. There's some Asus monitors. Um, I got my uh, one piece little mouse pad here. I got a mic 
that I just got not that long ago and I need to test out and like really get it hooked up and actually start using it. Uh, plan to use it for like streams and stuff in the future. So audio quality will be a little bit better hopefully. Here is my PC that I have down here. Uh, I almost freaking fell right now trying to do that. I tried to grab onto my chair and almost missed it. Uh, yeah, there's some wires right here, but yeah, this is a nice little sticker that I got uh, made from me from a vendor that I know. Uh, which is really freaking cool. Uh, it's a cyber power computer. Uh, let me try to move this chair out of the way so I can show a little bit more of the inside here. There's a nice uh, My Sakurajima sticker that I have on my computer there. Um, and then let's show just some other stuff. I'm not going to show this. This is like a whiteboard, but I'm using it to also write down some ideas and stuff that I have for future videos. So I'm not going to spoil certain things and uh, show that. Uh, that's why I like flipped to the other side so it's not showing anything. And then I have here as well, uh, my rascal does not dream of a dreaming girl uh, trading cards. Uh, the Weiss Schwarz ones, and then I have a webcam here too. Uh, here's like little th random things here that I use to like prop it up and get it to like a higher point so it's a uh, nice angle or whatever. Oh, and this is a Sekiro little mini sword that I have here. So if you see right there, it says Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So it was a pre-order bonus that I got for pre-ordering the game, as I said. Uh, and it's pretty cool. It's a mini sword that you could use to open up mail. So it's like a mail opener little thing. Uh, not super sharp or anything like that. It's not an actual like mini sword, but it's sharp enough to open your mail and do the job. And here is a uh, Canon little battery, extra battery that I have for my camera. So I'm not just running off of one battery. Um, but yeah, that's some cool stuff there. And I got a bunch of little cute pins. So this is a uh, Yotsuba, Pochita, Power, uh, Denji and Denji, and then a nice little Chainsaw Man one there as well. Uh, here's the box for that new mic that I just got recently. And then some of my posters that I have here too. A lot of them are just on this wall back here. Uh, so yeah, I got my Trash Taste poster from uh, that was signed by Giga, Joey the Anime Man, and Dog VA from the Trash Taste Live Tour when I went. Um, got this awesome Kaguya-sama Love is War picture. Uh, got some more stuff back here too. So uh, I got a bunch of waifu pictures, so like Raftalia, I got a diva one from Overwatch, uh, Konosuba Darkness, I got um, a Froppy from My Hero Academia, I got a Chica, and then I got a Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones, a big fan of Game of Thrones. Uh, the ending was not the greatest, but still I love Daenerys Targaryen, she's amazing. Um, and then we have here some more awesome pictures that I got, some really cool, sick prints that are some of my favorites uh, that I do have. So I got a Mob Psycho 100 one in the top left over there. Got this uh, Death Note one over here. Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, One Piece one with Trafalgar D, Water Law, and then Chopper. I uh, got Demon Slayer one, and then we got uh, the Spiders, the... Um, Fuck, what are their names? Phantom Troop from uh, Hunter Hunter, which is like one of my favorite like villain groups in anime. It's really, really freaking cool. Uh, and I got some more stuff here. I got some Cells at Work prints, Dr. Stone, uh, the, what is it? Uh, the Promised Neverland, some Dragon Ball ones, uh, Mop Psycho, a sick One Piece one that's right there too is amazing. Um, and then I got some ban a Banana Fish one, some Assassination Classroom stuff, My Hero. Uh, Goblin Slayer, uh, Swarm My Hero, and then some Rising of the Shield Hero with Rough Tally up there again. Um, but that's pretty much it. I think that's all I really got. I don't got anything else. We're like back at square one with my door again. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. So the video is probably a lot longer than what I intended it to be right now. I think I'm running at like 33 minutes which is a lot longer than what I thought it was going to be. Maybe because I went too much in depth and like really explained what everything is and stuff. But um, yeah, it, it's cool. It's, it's a lot of nice stuff that mean a lot to myself. Like I said, mean a lot to me and I'm a big fan of. So I decided to, you know, decorate my room in celebration or just to show my appreciation for these series and, you know, the joy that it brought me and everything too. <laughs> which is freaking uh, just, I, I don't know, I just love anime, love certain series, and um, I just love to talk about them, and I just love to show my appreciation for them too. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video here today. Leave a comment down with your thoughts below. Give the video a like if you guys can. I'd greatly appreciate it. Hit that pretty little button down there to subscribe if you have not already, and uh, hit that notification bell as well to get notified for whenever I do upload a video or go live or things like that. Hope you all have a fantastic one, and I'll catch you later. See ya. Bye-bye.